Look at this series to find as follows. Sum from n equals 1 to infinity, 3 over 9n squared plus 3n minus 2. We want to convert the above series to a telescoping series. So let's first factor out a 3, and then we'll factor out the denominator. So the denominator factors into 3n minus 1 times 3n plus 2. So now let's work with the denominator here. We'll split this up using partial fraction decomposition. And then we'll multiply both sides by 3n minus 1 times 3n plus 2. So we have the 3n minus 1 cancel. And then 3n plus 2 cancel. And at this point, when we want to solve for a and b. So well, you want to figure out when is 3n plus 2 equal to 0. That's when n is equal to negative 2 thirds. So we have 1 is equal to, and then 3 times negative 2 thirds is negative 2. Minus 1 is negative 3. That means b is negative 1 third. And then 1 is 3n minus 1 equal to 0. That's when n is equal to 1 third. So we have 1 is equal to, well, 3 times a third is 1, plus 2 is 3. So a is a third. Keep in mind, we still have a 3 here. So basically, it's 3 times, and then a is 1 third over 3n minus 1, and then minus 1 third 3n plus 2. And then when we distribute the 3 to both of these terms, these cancel. Since 3 times a third is 1, so we have 1 over 3n minus 1 minus 1 over 3n plus 2. And we want to write this as a telescoping series. So we'll say from n equals 1 to infinity. And we want to determine a formula for the partial sum s sub n. So basically what's happening here, let's rewrite it just to make the notation better. So we want to go from k equals 1 to n. We have 1 over 3k minus 1, minus 1 over 3k plus 2. So basically, the, when we plug in k equals 1, we have 1 over 2. And then when we plug in k equals 1 here, we have minus 1 over 5. Plug in k equals 2, we have 1 over 5, minus 1 over 8. Then it's 1 over 8 minus 1 over 11. Ongoing, and then if we let k equal n, that's going to be 1 over 3n minus 1 minus 1 over 3n plus 2. So then a lot of things are going to cancel. So second with this first, this one with that. Basically, all this is going to cancel, and we're left with 1 half minus 1 over 3n plus 2, and that's going to be our s of n. So now, if the partial sums uh, may be used to establish that the series conversion, calculate the sum of the series. Basically, we want to find the limit as n approaches infinity of our s of n, which is the limit as n approaches infinity, 1 half minus 1 over 3n plus 2. This thing goes to 0. So we have one half as our final answer.